there. Didn't know you were already here. Welcome to Sawdust and Cornbread. Trying something new today. This is my very first time ever going live, so I hope you can hear me and see me okay. The reason I wanted to do the video is because today I am going to do the big reveal of this project that I've been working on. And if anybody is watching live, I really don't know. I can't see comments because I'm doing this by myself. But if there are any comments, I will for sure go back later and respond to all of the comments as I see them after the video. But if you are joining me live here today, thanks so much. You are very welcome here on the channel. I'm all about taking the things that you have and making them into the things that you want. And I've been working on this beautiful project, which I'm about to show you in just a minute. And it all began with some corbels that I found at the local Goodwill store, our local uh, consignment shop. And the corbels were only $3.99 each. Now, typically on this channel, I try to take what I already have and create what I want out of that. In this case, I didn't have the corbels to start out with, so I did go to the store, found those for $3.99, and I can't pass up a good deal. So I ended up sanding down those corbels and adding a crackle finish. And if you haven't seen my videos on adding a chippy crackled look to anything, you need to check those out. All you need is common school blue and the color paint that you need in a water-based paint. And you can make anything shabby chic, crackled, farmhouse, rustic. It's a really easy and cheap method to create things that, that you may want to look a little bit different but in this case, I was doing some corbels. So I got the corbels the way I wanted and showed you how, how I wanted that and how you could do that on your own. And then the next step was I found some reclaimed wood that I had been storing out in the yard. It was 70 years old and it had all of this beautiful demarcation, all of these imperfections that made it just gorgeous. Some people may say, oh, it's messy, it's messed up. Why do you wanna use that? Well, to me, things like that are beautiful. It just brings out the character. So I got the first piece for this surprise project and began working on it and realized that it had a little bit more chippy paint than I wanted, so I removed the excess, and I'll put a link to the video where I did that, removed all of the old hardware, and I was left with this gorgeous piece. Once I mounted it to the wall, removing the excess paint, I saw that there was one dark stripe down the middle. So I used that chippy effect that I talked about before with the school glue and some white acrylic paint to fill in the space that was just a dark void in the middle. And that made everything even out. After that, I grabbed another piece of uh, this reclaimed wood from my yard and began removing all the paint, sanding it. I took my, um, my husband's hatchet from outside and just started hacking away at the board to make it look like hewn wood. Well, it is hewn wood now. So I have this 70 year old gorgeous piece of reclaimed wood that I've hewned up. I stained it, I sealed it, I put a poly coat on top. I have a video about that, I'll put a link below. And it is absolutely beautiful. So I've been asking, what do you think I'm building? Well, now I'm here to tell you that I've put the whole thing together and today is going to be the big reveal. I'm so excited and I can't wait to show you this. It might be a little bit shaky because I'm going to have to take my camera or my phone off of the stand. And like I said, I've never done this before. I hope you can hear me and see me, but now it's time for the big reveal. Let me put down this lighter and I'm going to show you this beautiful creation using two uh, thrift store corbels and two pieces of reclaimed wood. The total cost of this project, if you already have the paint and the finish and everything like that, the cost of the materials was a grand total of $8. You're not going to believe this. Okay, I'm going to take the, the phone off the stand and try not to make you too motion sick as I do this. All right, I'm gonna be as steady as I possibly can and flip this around and show you this gorgeous creation. All 
All right, here it is. I don't know if I can get a good angle, but this is the top piece. See if I can get this good and still and get a good picture on it. This is the top piece, the hewn lumber that I sealed, stained and sealed after I hacked it up. Here is the back piece of that 70 year old reclaimed wood with the chippy look. I did add these beautiful hooks to um, add a little touch of rustic usefulness to it. This is some hardware that I found on discount. And then of course, I'll go this way. Try not to make you too motion sick. These are the beautiful corbels that have the chippy look. And now backing off so you can get the big picture. I hope you can see this as well on camera live as I can see it. I know I'm shaky. It is a floating mantle, a farmhouse, rustic, shabby chic, floating mantle created for less than $8 or right, right out $8. That's not including the hardware, and it is gorgeous. I can't wait to decorate it for Christmas. I've already started with some fall decorations. But the neat thing about this project, it's inexpensive, and it's simple. Really, anybody can do it. If you have old lumber in your yard, I'm going to sit this back up on the tripod so that you can stop being motion sick. <laughs> Let's see if I can get it on here smoothly. But if you have, there, now you can see it. If you have old lumber in your yard that, that you're not using, um, if your neighbor has old wood that they're not using, anybody can make the simple mantle for less than $8. I can't wait, like I said, for Christmas. Let me put this up a little bit. To decorate this guy. It's going to be gorgeous. The hooks are perfect to, for gathering backpacks or handbags as people come in the door. It's right at the entrance. So it gets those off of the couches and other surfaces. I'm sure this Christmas we're going to have our stockings hanging up here. And uh, I couldn't be more thrilled with this. A uh, couple of notes because I did stop off the tutorial with this last hand-hewn top that's on the floating mantle. And I didn't tell you how it's going to be attached. Um, the bottom, my husband actually suggested this, and I think it's a great idea. The bottom of the floating mantle is going to be attached to the corbels using these oak dowel pins. I hope you can see. Oak dowel pins. These are 3 8 inch by 2 inch. And they're just little wooden dowels. They just cost a couple of dollars for... Let's see, I'm not sure how many comes in here. 18, 18 pieces. I'm probably gonna use four. I'm gonna use four of these. And it goes, I just drill a hole up into the bottom of this hand hewn mantle top and then into the corbel. I'll do that on in two places on each side. Then put the little wooden dowel pin in there and sit the mantle on top of that so that um, it holds it on securely. Now, typically, you would glue that on for a permanent fix. My husband suggested that we not glue it, that we just use the pins so that if we ever want to take it off, we can. And I think that's a good idea. We don't have any little ones running around now that can pull it off. And it would also, you'd have to push it up and pull it forward for it to come off. So I think that's a great idea. But this is the finished project. So did anybody guess that this was going to be a floating mantle? I'm very curious to know if anybody had an inkling of an idea from the corbels to the reclaimed wood backboard to the hand-hewn top of this mantle. Did anybody guess? I can't wait to look at the comments and see if anybody was even close to guessing what this is. But this is another project that's an example of what you can do using things that you already have. And that's what this channel is all about. We take the things we have, 
We make the things we want. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate you being with me on this channel. As of this recording, I looked right before I got on, there were 171 subscribers. This is a fairly new channel and I am thrilled to have each and every one of you. I appreciate you, you're making a dream come true. And the uh, all of these DIYs, taking things you have, using what you have, making them in want, this is a way of life for me. If you look back in the videos at the beginning, I talk about how my husband and I, our first home was one quarter of a double wide trailer. I was deeply depressed. I had some serious medical diagnoses going on and the DIYs really helped me. And I never stopped, so I'm still doing them. And I wanna share them with you because I know those of you who are out there may want things you go to the barn of pottery or the import pier, I can't say the real thing, and you see a piece that you really want, there is a way to have it without having that extra income. You can make something very similar yourself and you probably have the treasures you need in your attic, in your basement, in a storage bin in the closet put away. We're gonna pull that stuff out little by little and make your dreams come true. Thanks again for watching today. I sure hope you can see it and hear it and uh, that I'm able to capture the true beauty of this floating mantle that I built for less than $8. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to like this video. Every time you like a video, it's like saying, keep going girl, and I appreciate it. Have a blessed day. I'll be back on Wednesday for Wednesday's Why Motivation and next Saturday with another DIY. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time. I had already closed out, but here's one more look at this gorgeous mantle that I made. It's a floating mantle, less than $8. You can do the same. You just need two pieces of scrap wood. This is 70 year old reclaimed wood that I had in my backyard and two corbels. I found these each for $3.99 at a local consignment shop. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next week.